CNN. You worked there for how long? 20 years. 20 years. So when you were hired, who was the CEO? Wow, there were there was a lot of turnover at the beginning. It was uh, Walter Isaacson was the okay. CEO who who hired me. Walter, uh, the was Walter the, Isaacson, yeah, yeah, he was <laughs> he he really a little yeah, known, a little known chapter he, of his wow. career. Mm. He was the editor of Time Magazine, and at that point, wow. Time Magazine was owned by Time Warner, which was part uh, part of part of the Time Warner company, mm. and briefly. Um, he took over CNN and he hired me. He used to joke that was the only good thing he did while he was at <laughs> CNN. I don't know. I hope he still feels that way. But Walter Walter left uh, CNN and then and then started writing all these terrific. When books. did you work at CNN? What year was it? When did I start? It, well, I was at ABC from '96 to 2002, and then CNN 2002 mm -hmm. to. 2020. Was Ted Turner still around at that time or no? Well, I mean, Ted Turner is still around. No, no, but, no. But, but, but I mean, it's, he, he was not a over presence. the company. No, no. Okay, he, was, no he, he was not. How different is CNN then than it is today? Con considerably different. Um, the, um, the, when I started, it was still in the era of the, the, the line that, and this is a Ted Turner line, was the news is the star. That um, it was not about the, the the personalities, other than Larry King, who was nine to ten. Huh. The anchors were not particularly well known, not and and it was very much like a sort of wire service, like the AP, or um, and um, it and and that is a dramatic transformation from where it was. Now, the mm -hmm. the, the key point about two thousand two is that the internet was still in its infancy. So if you wanted news, you really had to go to, to, to CNN. As the internet became ubiquitous, people would get the news first on their screens, then on their phones, and by the time you turned on your TV, you already knew the headlines. And that's when CNN really started to change a lot. And, and you were there up until 2022, yeah. I want to say? Yeah. So... Uh, going back to my initial question regarding the CEOs, you were there. Jeff Zucker was there for Jeff, a decade uh, or plus. Yes. And then recently Chris Licht was hired, Chris then Licht, fired. Yeah. I don't know if there's a new CEO right Not now. Yet. They haven't hired. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. So you said that things have changed significantly. Yeah. You said, you know, it, the news was the star. Right. We've seen recently the stars have actually been fired. Don Lemon, Cuomo. Uh, <laughs> right. Yeah. Anderson Cooper's still there. Wolf Blitzer's still there. Uh, you made a little joke about the average age of the audience is, is dying or yeah, actually yeah, dead. Yeah, that's, Same thing that's for, approximate. Yeah. yeah, of course. You know, give or take a few years. <laughs> give or take. If grandma's watching, I love you. Yeah. Stay, live, stay strong. Right. Um, you know, the whole narrative about mainstream media is that it's a dying, uh, main, that legacy media is dying and that the average age of people is, uh, is dead. Uh, the other narrative is that they've lost their credibility. Um, and that goes across the board. Uh, you know, if you talk people on the left, Fox has no credibility whatsoever, zero. Why could you even trust that? The most trusted name in news, what have you. And then you go to CNN, it's like anyone on the right is like, it's fake news, it's fake news. We've all, we've all, right. we've all this narrative. Uh, speaking as someone that's worked for CNN uh, for 20 years, how can CNN regain their credibility? It's a really tough question. And, and, um, and, and I think um, some, some of the problems that we're talking about are are more structural than um, than about any individual. I mean, you know, CNN makes most of its money, not all of it, but it makes most of its money from um, carriage fees mm -hmm. from the cable companies. What does that mean? Exactly? That means, like, when if you if you get cable, mm -hmm. new, if you if you have a, a, a cable TV at home, yeah. you pay a certain amount per month. That's why I cut the cord, baby. Well, this is the <laughs> thing. And, and, you know, uh, let's say you pay $50 a month, you know, a dollar goes to CNN, $2 goes to ESPN, uh, but those, th that business is, is dying. You know, there's a debate about how quickly it's dying, but mm -hmm. no one really debates about whether it's dying, ESPN. And so the question is, how does... CNN, and this is true for C, you know for for both MSNBC and Fox. It's also true for ESPN, which is a bigger business than either one of them. Wow. Um, how do they make the transition when people get their news from the internet rather than from cable? Mm -hmm. um, what 
you know, w- what what Zucker recognized was that um, when when you know, particularly at prime time, um, every, by the time they turned on, everybody already knew the headlines. They wanted analysis, and they wanted from people who were ideologically simpatico. Mm-hmm. Um, and and so the the network, I think, was w- was accurate. I don't think it, I mean I, I don't think anybody was lying on CNN, but it was certainly more ideologically combative with with Trump. Um, Chris Lick tried to move away from that, but there isn't. W- one of the things I think we're learning is that you know people go to news organizations now that are ideologically simpatico. To They're confirm not, their bias, to confirm not to their learn bias. anything right. new. Although one yes. of the things that you know people never talk about here, and it's interesting, it certainly hasn't come up in this conversation, is the network news. And here, I do a, qui- I do a quiz. My wife, my wife gets sick of this. Okay. I want to ask the four of you. Okay. okay, we love quizzes. Who are the three network news anchors now? So you got the Cronkite, three, ne- Roger Mudd. Who are so they? On, CBS, on, ABC, NBC. So, who are okay, they? Okay, let me give it a shot. Okay, so on ABC, shot. you got David Dave Muir. Mueller, Mueller, correct. Yeah. Uh, on NBC, you've got Lester Holt. Very good. Yeah. And then who the hell watches what, CBS? What, <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm, I'm on in the CBS, same boat you got uh, Stephen who, Colbert. No. No, but, but I'm, I'm kind of with I, I honestly yeah. don't even really know. Yeah. The, 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 those names aren't there. No. Those names aren't there. Did I get two out of three right? You got two out of three. Nora O'Donnell is the correct Yeah, no, no, but But, you know, it 20 years ago, Dan Rather, Peter oh. Jennings, and Tom Brokaw were three of the most famous people oh, yeah. in the United States. Yes. Yep. I mean, forget like news people. And they had people. credibility. Well, that, but, and but, number one mattered, and it was a war. It was it was a war, and and these and 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 those network shows still draw a significant number of people every night. Yeah. But they are not part of the political conversation the way the the way cable right. is, and um, you know the the. The, and they are not particularly ideological, those three mm-hmm. shows. But the question, you know, that, that I don't have the answer to mm-hmm. is sort of how the market evolves when cord cutting continues. Yeah. So the, back to my uh, yeah. other question, the, the credibility thing. So, you know, not all uh, talking heads are, are created the same. So, for instance, I find that Jake Tapper has a lot of credibility. I actually find him to be a real journalist. I mean, some people might disagree. No question. Yeah. I, and then I you have some agree. people like Don Lemon, what it was so freaking clear. The drama queen. That he was time. biased. Yeah. Who do you think is actually the most fair journalist these days? You know, you got Tucker Carlson up there that he's got a loyal audience. He's on Twitter now. Oh. But people on the left think he's an absolute full of shit. And then you've got, you know, Rachel Maddow that people love her on the left. People on the right think she's full of shit. Who do you find to be credible these days? Well, I, th- I mean, I love my colleagues at CNN. I think Jake Tapper, Wolf Blitzer, Anderson Cooper, uh, Aaron Burnett um, are terrific journalists and I think do a great job. And I was very proud to, to, work, to work with them. Hey, if you enjoyed this short clip, you want to watch the whole thing, click over here. But if you want to make 2023 the beginning of the greatest years of your life, I host a conference once a year. It's called the Vault Conference where 3,000 CEOs, executive entrepreneurs from around the world come together to strategize for three and a half days. This year, it's going to be at Miami Diplomat Resort. And the speakers this year is going to be Tom Brady. He'll be there. I'll be interviewing him. Mike Tyson, Will Gadara, the guy that ran 11 Madison in New York. If you run a business, if you're a CEO, entrepreneur, and executive, this is not an event you want to miss out on. Get yourself, your spouse, your business partner, your running mates registered, and I look forward to seeing you there. Click on the link here or see the link in the description, and I hope to spend three and a half days with you in Miami in August and September. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.